you as a resident of San Chicago believe that we should remain a sanctuary city? Uh-oh, they have a problem. Outraged Chicago residents making it clear how they feel about being a sanctuary city as a city council meeting descends into chaos. Locals are furious as the Democrat-run city spends up to $40 million per month on taxpayer money to house migrants instead of directing that cash to the poorest neighborhoods. Retiring Acton ICE director, Fox News contributor Tom Holman joins us. Uh, the people have made it very clear they don't like what's happening, Tom. Well, they're smart people. Look, thanks for city policies. The sanctuary is for criminals. What does that mean? That means local law enforcement can't work with ICE agents mm -hmm. to deport some ways of uh, public safety threat. For instance, Ill illegal alien commits a serious crime gets booked in a jail. Mm -hmm. ICE isn't even allowed to go into that jail and talk to them to put a detainer on them to set them up for removal. Think about that. The local jurisdiction has already made a decision to lock the man in a jail cell. Mm -hmm. They lock the person in a jail cell. Why? Because either he's a public safety threat or a flight risk. Give ICE access, because not only can we remove that person from the community, we're going to remove him from, from the country so he can't reoffend against the community. So law, local law enforcement are not allowing federal agents to come get the folks because the city has said they're a sanctuary, someone that's already in custody. Exactly. What they're doing, they're releasing a criminal alien who's in the country illegally back in the community to reoffend. And who are they going to reoffend against? The migrant community where they live, most will reoffend the very community in which they live. But the most outrageous thing about it is the local community. I've been contacted by two pastors in the black community mm -hmm. who are up in arms, saying the black community has been left behind. They don't. A lot of these people don't get three squares a day. They don't get free medical attention. They don't get a free hotel room. They don't get a free hot shower. Mm -hmm. So that the community is is outraged, and they should be. Yeah. Another topic I want to get you to weigh in. Uh, top GOP lawmakers are. Question the administration over this DOJ settlement. What can you tell us about it? Well, I'm a, I'm a part of that lawsuit. I've been, I'm being sued several times over about it. It wasn't about, they keep saying family separation. It wasn't about family separation. It's about zero tolerance. 31% of women that make that journey get sexually assaulted. Children were dying. On the Trump administration, we said, well, let's prosecute these people because it's a crime to enter the country legally. And maybe we start prosecuting them. They'll stop coming. And it'll work. Uh, illegal uh, crossings drop 25%. But when you arrest an adult, the child can't go lock up with them. So one of the results of that is families going to be separated. When I was a cop in New York, I separate American families every day when you arrest a parent. <laughs> you separate the child. So what they just decided to do, now they have this referendum saying parents, uh, families can't be separated anymore. So watch what's going to happen. Child trafficking is going to skyrocket. Cartels are going to rent children to single adult males to come across the border and claim their family unit because they know they'll never be prosecuted under this new agreement. There'll never be, there'll never be a consequence. Mm -hmm. Child trafficking is going to skyrocket. God help. God help us. We see Am Americans right now, it looks like this issue is helping the former president right now. Absolutely is, and the border's out of control. We had the most, most secure border in my lifetime, and this administration unsecured it. Yeah. Tom Holman, thanks, brother. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.